Hey guys, in the video today, my friend Dylan and I are going to go for a hike out in the fjord and mountains. Got some fresh snow coming, we're going to get amongst the rainforest. Let's see what we can do. I'll also show you what camera gear we're bringing along. Alright, so we're only going for three days. Um, just bringing the wide angle, 12 to 24 mil, and then the mid range zoom, the Tamron 28 to 75. Not bringing the 100 to 400, the long lens. One, it's obviously quite heavy, but the location we're going to, I just can't particularly envision using that to get any images. Those telephoto shots are all about the light and atmosphere, and I just don't think we're gonna get that. And if we do, too bad, you just gotta cop it on the chin. Generally, what happens is whatever you don't bring, that's what you end up needing out there. It's just all part of the game. So we've had a uh, had a bit of a plan change. The the valley we we're going to go hiking down looked like it was quite busy. There's quite a few cars in the car park, but also the snow level has come down a lot lower than I was originally anticipating. So I think now we're going to spend the next day or so trying to get amongst the snow. It's such a nice combination when you've got snow with the rainforest and then obviously the mountain peak. So the challenge is. Can we get the mountain peak vi visibility? That's always the hard part when the snow is coming in. So let's see what we can do. We're in a nice hut here. Um, so we might spend the night in this hut, which this one's quite easy to get to. And uh, this is gonna put us right in the heart of the mountains and hopefully as uh, some snow comes through tonight as well. Have you shot in the snow properly before? I was wondering. Or well, last time, yeah, one time you were here, here and that's it. So not in the States or... Like do you have any images in the portfolio yeah. with like snow in your foreground that no. you can touch? Not that I can okay, well that's pretty exciting. I think that's oh, it. Oh, ice. I've got ice, but... Oh, yeah, I'm kind of frozen no away snow. or something. Well, now I'm like determined to just try and get you a cool shot in the snow at least, you know. It's hard in Fjordland because all these plants don't hold the snow very well. Just mm. the size of the leaves and even the ferns by nature, they just don't hold it. You really have to be here... As it's happening. As it's happening or as it clears up. The hard part is, all right, can we get the fresh snow and then still see the mountains in the background? But we're in the right place for it, so we'll just have to see. It looks amazing. Like, it's good for tighter photography right now with the 24 to 70 and just getting the trees, but, yeah, it would be yeah, pretty epic. We spend most of the afternoon doing is with a longer lens on and just doing more. And who brought the longer lens? <laughs> <laughs> I told Dylan, look, you don't need to bring the telephoto lens, just save on weight. You know, let's not hike for five, six hours with a 100 to 400 mil. He was determined to bring the lens along anyway, and now it's probably um, worked Paying out. Dividends. Yeah, it's paid off big time. So he's kind enough to loan it to us for 900 bucks an hour <laughs> if we need it, so. Come, come in, let me. What we have here is the wild kia. It's an endangered species, the world's only alpine parrot. I think that's the worst David Attenborough ever. <laughs> <laughs> my favourite animal in the world, you've probably seen some of these guys in my images. The Kia, it is the world's only alpine, it's a mountain parrot. Highly intelligent, and they're just a beautiful creature, they are endangered. I've always tried to combine them in my landscape images, which is incredibly difficult, um, but highly rewarding. I've been able, I might have three or four that I have in the portfolio. That whenever I see one out in the field, I'm always like seeing if it's possible to combine it with the bigger, grander landscape. This one here, though, has just come in to say hi. They always like, they're very curious, so they always generally come down and say hello. If you've travelled here before, most likely you've seen one of these land on your vehicle and they'll start eating the rubber and all different parts of the car. favorite mountains in the valley here Mount Talbot just frames up so well covered in snow at the moment looks perfect what I'm envisioning though is hopefully if we get that little bit more snow this afternoon and tonight either by sunset today or most likely sunrise tomorrow all this vegetation around here will be covered and that way we can get that 
nice snow covered foreground with the background really to give it that alpine feel so at the moment as you can see there is snow on the ground but it's quite patchy it's not not too good there's a few areas further down the valley where we might hike to later on but we we really want that snow especially for dylan you know we realized he doesn't have any of those real nice snowy images in his portfolio and he's been shooting for over 15 years now so i'm pretty excited to at least at the most help him get a really nice photo of this area which is just so special so it's two o'clock we've got a few more hours here of light not really hopeful of actually getting a sunset or anything like that now it's more getting into the the mindset of probably looking for some kind of atmosphere and peaks hopefully if it starts snowing again we'll combine that with the the beach forest so we're going to go for a drive now into a different valley see what's going on there because we're going to spend the night here in this valley but there's no point probably hanging around here all afternoon so i think we just go for a drive it's just got to react really it's kind of my favorite photography I'm not really planning it but just um reacting to what happens some places that I just keep getting drawn to time and time again I've already got a couple of portfolio shots of this specific mountain with the waterfalls and everything but it just looks so nice today snow atmosphere so I'm just coming down anyway having a shoot Dylan's down there soaking it up as well when it comes to composition one of the things that caught my eye was these beautiful trees which are arching over the river separation is key you want to separate your subject matter from each other so for example I've got that great tree there and the mountain in the back that has the waterfalls I purposely walked along and positioned myself here so the tree only has sky around it the trees not overlapping and hitting the mountain there it's going to create a lot more depth if you can keep that separation in mind same thing with your foreground don't get so low that the foreground comes up and hits the background so just keep in mind your separation that's what I'm trying to do here I'm using these rocks now to channel through the middle, mountain in the centre, tree off to the right with a negative space around it. When it comes to the uh, settings here, I'm trying to get really close to incorporate all of the moss and lichen. It's a 12 mil perspective, but because I'm so close, it's a huge depth of field. So I'm focus stacking at F22, so it's two frames, one in the front, one for the back. And then I'm doing an exposure blend so I want to slow that river down, so I'm doing half a second for the river. That's a separate exposure. A little bit of a pain in the butt, not ideal, but the light back there is still quite harsh, so I can't shoot all that background uh, and get the river slow at the same time. So it's just a matter of combining the two. I think you might uh, wait here for a little bit and just watch it keep coming in and out. The light's only going to get softer. Multiple layers of atmosphere. A bit more visibility would be nice up the top, so let's just chill. See what it does. It just keeps changing on a day like this. Dylan only wants the real unique stuff, you know, so I've got a special. Have a look at this place, mate. You wouldn't have seen many shots of this one. No, unreal, Let's eh? have a look. Unreal. Yeah, don't tell anyone about this spot, though. Okay. Don't, it's Milford Sound, not Sounds. So many people say that. You probably said it actually. Milford Sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone adds an S to the end. I've been here probably 300 times, but it's always different. Like even today with that fresh snow and then the atmosphere there and the layers. Molto bene. We might get lucky here. It's got to be snow on the way. I told you we didn't have to leave here. Could have waited here. <laughs> so we're just going to spend the night in the hut up here. We're pretty close to the road, pretty close to where I live as well, but it's nice to just be based in the mountains, especially with the snow forecast. As I've mentioned, the snow here, it drops off the trees and everything really quick, especially if it obviously starts to turn to rain. So you wanna be here at the exact time that it's all happening. So we're hoping that tonight we get a bit more snow and in the morning, fresh power everywhere, but we'll see. What's happening now this afternoon, for example, is just how a lot of photography is for me. It's just being spontaneous, just watching, observing, 
moving around, you know, there's no specific goal in mind. It's just about running off what inspires you, just enjoying being out in nature. And then if you see that little spark of inspiration, then potentially trying to photograph it and put it all together in a frame. How's it looking out there, Dylan? It looks good, mate. Looks I reckon good. we'll get something this morning. Yeah. Looks like we've definitely got a couple of centimetres of fresh goodness out there. So hopefully we can see the mountains. That's the main thing now. We've got another hour or so. So it's uh, coffee time. You can have a black. No. <laughs> you, you can have a short black or long black. <laughs> a few years to try and photograph Mount Talbot with the fresh snow on the ground so hopefully today's a day. Often they'll just shut the road off, they can't really get in here with a decent snow dump. And then Mount Christina, that direction there, look at that, wow, it's looking good. This is awesome. Alright, so we're just uh, packing up the gear now and we're going to base ourselves just in this valley because there's multiple amazing, you know, directions to photograph and anything, everything. So um, I'm just gonna pack up now and um, see what happens over the next few hours. Sunrise is in about half an hour's time and there's a lot of gaps in the clouds. So we could get some light come through. That would be beautiful. beyond thankful. The visibility is perfect, snow everywhere, and there's even a, a hint of light up in that cloud. We might get the light hit the peak, but even if not, it's just a beautiful soft scene right here. Just found this rock framing in the foreground, the leading line of the river curving straight towards the peak back there. Just, yeah, one of those mornings, just one of those moments where you just really just lost for words at the beauty of it all. I think it's going to be quite a fun few hours here because I can see a snow shower coming in now it's probably going to be on and off like that for the rest of the morning so just wait and see what speaks to us that's what it's all about spontaneity is the key So fortunate. Just having a look at these trees now. Look at the fresh snow just sitting on them. Doesn't last long on these beech trees because the leaves are so tiny. So I just put the mid range on and just try to get a nice, simple, delicate image. Look at this big one. Whenever I've shot falling snow in the past and even right now, it's fun to experiment with the shutter speeds. You can slow it down, speed it up, and you get a completely different texture on the snow. It's going to depend on your focal length and how heavy the snow is falling, but just something to keep in mind. You can do it in the rain as well and just create that nice texture. It's hard to do it justice on a still when it's just this real gentle, soft snowfall. Now, if we can get that Kia in the shot, then I'll retire. <laughs> I just wish I could capture the movement. Yeah. Even if you shot it real wide open and just had big... So did we get the sh enough. did we get the snowy foreground shot for you? 
You reckon? You think so? Until yeah. you look at it in a computer and you go, these are terrible. Feel confident now when we get home, we'll change our mind. But I've waited years to be, get Talbot with the fresh powder. It's just such a hard combo because often they'll either close the road or the cloud will cover the feet. All right. As per the uh, theme of the last few days, we're going to keep moving. Oh, Start chasing the light. Right. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Oh, this is magical. The light is just coming through the cloud. Challenging. Wow, look at it. Straight up. Shooting these beach forests is difficult at the best of times. And then you throw in the snow in the mix and it's just overwhelming. Just trying to find a nice simple frame. It is just so beautiful to look at. Just the, the snow is gently falling off. And you can try and time your images with the falling snow. Here we go, here comes one. How old are you, mate? Come on. Stop piss farting around. In a different valley now, and the storm's really pushed in up here. This is phenomenal. Let's go for a walk and see what we can do. So just continuing on the process of spontaneity, pulled into the valley here for a, a good old coffee. And I was saying to Dylan, you know, this is where those nice peaks are. Couldn't see him at the time. Five minutes later, bang, the mountains come out. So we pretty much ditched the car and the coffee somewhere back there. And uh, yeah, run down to the river and just everything's flowing straight towards the range. Beautiful atmosphere. And we even got a little bit of light coming in, some blue in the sky. It can be overwhelming when you come into a place like this, whether it's snowing or not, you really got to go off instinct, you know. Don't set yourself up with one specific image in mind all the time. Just get out there and just see kind of what's guiding you, what's leading you in a certain direction. The last 24 hours has been a lot of that. and got so fortunate that we never hiked down that valley in the first place and been able to get amongst this beautiful snow. Happy days. Well, it's been about 24 hours since this whole thing began, and geez, it's been a memorable one. Most often than not in landscape photography, things don't go to plan, but you don't have to let that get you down or make that hinder your whole plan altogether. In fact, I find some of the best images are made when you're just being spontaneous and allowing yourself to react to what nature's doing. If you lock yourself into one specific goal, you're gonna get tunnel vision and you could close yourself off from other opportunities that are out there. The last 24 hours that we've had here has all been about spontaneity, a little bit of intuition, and just reacting to what nature's provided. And it's been some of the best photography we've had in a long time. Hope you really enjoyed watching. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. Hope to see you in the next video. Yeah. What do we say? Like and subscribe to Dylan Fox Photography. <laughs> I've been caught red-handed. It's Logan, is it? Yeah, Logan, yeah. Logan's a follower of the YouTube channel and uh, I've been caught red-handed because he's seen how beautiful it is here and how easy it is to get a photograph. So, you see, there's no skill involved, right, mate? It's just all about the beauty. <laughs> well, if you're in the right location, eh, you yeah, that's pull all. the camera out and get some photos. That's it, mate. Pull it out, a few happy snaps and move yep. on. That's how we do it here, so don't tell too many people. Yeah, this guy doesn't even get out of the yeah, car, man. You should have seen him yesterday. Straight out the window. Don't want to get, to get It's out. too cold. When you're in the best for photography location in the world, it's not hard, eh? That's it. That's right. It's not hard, but hey. You just got to get in I'll, here. We won't tell too many people that, will we? <laughs> Tell him to like and subscribe, mate, or there's going to be bad you, stuff that happens. Tell me when he's recording. Like and, <laughs> like and subscribe to the channel. Or else. Or else. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all good, man. Sorry. <laughs>